It is a long time since I've done a video um, and it's certainly the first one I've done this year. Um, December just gets so busy, um, it's impossible to really fit anything else in. Um, but come January, um, we can sort of reset and uh, it's the, the fun time when we get to sort of look at all our stock and decide what we need to buy for the coming six months or so. Uh, so the video today is just going to quickly show you uh, the materials that I'm sending off to our silversmith. Uh, so for anyone that's sort of a, a, a new follower to me or to Hepburn and Hughes, um, what we do is uh, collect lots of old things and get them recycled um, into jewellery and cufflinks. Uh, so when I say old, this could be like really, really old, like fossilised dinosaurs. Um, or it could be things from sort of the more modern era, like we do a lot of Clarice Cliff plates. Um, so anyway, I'll show you a few things today that I'm putting into a box to send off to our silversmith. Um, so it's always very hard to keep an eye on what things we're running low on. So sometimes uh, <laughs> we kind of look online and go, ah, it's, uh, yeah, we're really, really low on stock, particularly of Clarice Cliff at the moment. Um, but anyway, so this is, this is fossilised iguanodon bone. Uh, so we've got three pieces of this, which we'll send off and then get uh, sort of pendants and earrings cut out of it. Um, and the place that we source that from, uh, we were lucky enough to also get a big batch of, um, this is Brontosaurus. And then they've already been sort of pre-polished and cut, uh, which saves our silversmith quite a bit of time. Uh, so we've got some lovely shapes here, sort of, we've got sort of, sort of triangular, quite a few um, sort of teardrops and ovals. Um, so obviously both of those definitely fit the old category. Um, and then on the theme of fossils, we've got a lovely bag of these are pyrite ammonites. So they have a, I don't know if you can see it in the video, they have a lovely sort of shimmery uh, shine to them. Uh, so we've got a big bag of those and ammonites have been, they sold so, so well in the run up to Christmas. Um, so we definitely need to restock on those. And then our uh, big thing for last year is we were contacted by someone who had been, well, a relative of theirs had been collecting uh, original pieces of Clarice Cliff uh, pottery. Um, she used to work in one of the, the uh, factories that produced the Clarice Cliff plates but way back in probably 1930s. Uh, so all the fragments, sort of the discarded pottery, um, sort of, I guess, discarded along the canal bank next to the factory, and she used to collect them. So we have lots of, so these are original pieces. We've got a whole bag full here, um, which we will get made up into very bright jewellery. Um, so we, we sort of cut them down to make sort of more uniform shapes, but they've, they've sold, sold very well. Um, what else have we got? Oh yes, another new thing for last year. We've always sold Priscelli uh, cufflinks. So Priscelli is the stone from uh, Strange Love, the Priscelli Mountains in Wales, and it's the same stone that um, Stonehenge is made out of. Uh, so we've got loads and loads of fragments of these. And now we're making these into uh, pendants. And again, they, they sold very well. Uh, so we're going to do a lot more next year. Um, and then finally, we have got a big batch of their... I don't know if anyone's familiar with the Chinese game. They're ma mahjong um, tiles. And we've had a sort of a specific request from a customer to get... Um, I think they're holding them upside down, aren't I? Um, it's the right way around. Um, the some green dragon cufflinks made up, but we're going to send uh, a lo load of other tiles, and we're going to trial pendants as well. So anyway, that's sort of the majority of what we're sending off. I hope that's useful, and then maybe in about two months' time, I'll be able to show you sort of the finished products. Okay, I hope you're all well, and thanks for watching.